Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a snapshot in Linux Mint. So to start off, open up your menu here and uh, type in time shift. Now it should already be installed, but if you don't have it installed, please check the link in the description and I will show you how to get that going. But uh, open up the app, enter your password. Once you do so, you can click the authenticate button and uh, it will open. You can then go through the setup wizard. So let's start. I highly recommend selecting rsync by default because the ButterFS uh, one, you need to know what ButterFS FS is and have it set up during the installation for this to be worth anything. So select rsync first, then click next. It will estimate your system size. Take a couple seconds and uh, Okay, so now we can see we've got a bunch of different hard drives on here. The main hard drive is SDA1, and that's the one that it's saying that we should store the snapshots at. If you want to store snapshots in any other places, you can go ahead and select through here. But uh, we will be doing it on SDA1. So, click Next. Now, I have a snapshot by default set at daily. I don't really like that. I'm going to do weekly, and we'll keep two of them. You can customize this to however you'd like. Once you're done, click the next button. So this is going to exclude these and by default, which is not something that you want. What you want to do is you want to include all and include hidden if you want to back up your configuration files. If you just want your personal data, like your music files, pictures, and stuff like that, click include all. But uh, I'm going to do include hidden. Uh, you can exclude root, and excluding root means that all of the system files and packages, I highly recommend ignoring the root one. Nothing that game, uh, excuse me, nothing that system breaking is ever going to happen. It's not going to be something that you absolutely need to do. So ignore that and click next. And then it'll say your setup is complete. You can click the finish button and it will open up your time shift. Now for, from here, we can create our first snapshot. So click the create button. And it's going to sync all of our information through the directories that we let it have and sync it with our sync. And it'll take a couple of minutes. All right, so our snapshot is created. And that's how you make a snapshot on Linux Mint. So really quick, before I go, I'm going to show you how to restore it. So if you want to restore your snapshot at any time, if you're missing, if you miss some files, if you're missing something, you can select it in time shift and click the restore button and then you can click the next button and it will restore it and it's going to do a test to see if everything will go out and happen you know successfully and then it will actually do it it will tell you what it's going to do you can click the next button and uh, it will reboot and restore automatically and as you can see on the screen it's taking care of everything for you on the screen and uh, this is one of the reasons that Linux Mint is great for beginners because it can really keep your system safe So when the restoration finishes, you can go ahead and load it up, and uh, it's that easy. And we are back at the login screen. So that is how you restore and create a snapshot in Linux Mint. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.